Hi Capricorn, so I already got y'all spread laid out pre-shuffled, y'all already know the vibes, let's get into this reading. So I do see that you guys still have a space in your heart for this person, okay, I do see you have a lot of love and feelings for them, alright, and I'm seeing your person is getting a reading on you or this is the reading that you're coming to to find out clarity and what's going on between you and your person because I feel like something needs healing here now I do feel like you guys see yourself in your person you and your person may talk alike act like think alike or you guys may have hung out and wore matching outfits so you guys are definitely mirroring each other but I'm, I'm getting something needs to be healed here because your person is against time they're walking on thin ice and they feel like time is running out time is ticking I do feel like your person is walking on thin ice with you, so they feel like if they come back in and say something to you, you'll get mad, and if they do something right, you'll get mad anyway. And I feel like, you know, they may have taken a long time. I'm sorry, you guys, for that noise. So they may have taken a long time to come towards you and make you an offer or make things right with you. But I feel like you guys are putting this to an end permanently. You're saying goodbye to this person, and you're not giving them any more chances, period. Okay. Your person may be having some money issues or financial issues or they don't have enough money here. But I feel like your person is coming back to reconcile with you. They want to work things out. They they see this unfinished business between the two of you. They, they do see that something needs healing here. And this person, if you were wondering if they're going to return, they will return. They're coming back. And I feel like they are having regrets and remorse, feeling guilty, feeling remorseful. You know, they may come to you in a very apologetic tone or you may see them uh, feeling very guilty, remorseful and wanting to undo this damage. But I'm seeing this person gives you mixed feelings. Okay. It says indecisive, conflicted feelings. Yeah, you're, uns you're, you're not sure of this relationship because your person is coming back towards you with some secrets. It says secret love, secret admirer, moving in silence. Yeah, there's more to be revealed here. And I'm also getting that your person may be keeping you a secret or there's someone else that's a secret. Okay, you may feel like all this person wants to do is have sex with you. For a lot of you, this was a very sexual uh, relationship. And there's a bond filled with lust. So I feel like even though they're coming back, they want to work things out. You're getting mixed feelings because this person wants to sleep with you and give you like the bomb is sex. But I feel like something is being hidden from you. Okay, and maybe it, and maybe it could be that all your person want is sex. Or this could be you. Flip the roles as you see fit. Okay. It's vice versa. Or this is your person. Take it how it resonates. But I just feel like because of the sex. You know some of y'all been feeling trapped. Stuck. Like you can't escape from this connection or this person. Yeah. This is a very unpleasant situation. Because there's just a lot of fights and arguments. And moments of tension between the two of you. And I feel like this person. They'll like start fights with you and arguments with you and then leave. And it's possible that this person may have a wife. They may be married already or this could be someone's baby mom that they're focused on. But I'm seeing somebody is mad. Okay, your person is mad. And I'm seeing that, yeah, there's a lot of fights. Okay, and I feel like they're going to come back in. And love bomb you. They're going to tell you all the right things you want to hear. Emotionally manipulate you. They just want your attention. Or they just want to know they can have your attention again. Because I'm seeing here this person is a pathological liar. They just constantly lie and they can't tell the truth to save their damn life. Okay, they may be lying about this wife, about this person, or they may be lying like, or love bombing you like, hey, I only want to focus on you. That's it. But I feel like there's some feelings of nostalgia here. Your person is stuck in the past here, and they're very sad over someone. Or they're, they're reminiscing about you about the good times they may be bringing up some things y'all did together in the past all right to make you like forget about the bad stuff for some of y'all not all of y'all but i'm seeing that 
This person is coming in love bombing you, telling you they want to make you the main lady, that they've changed and they learned their lesson, and blah, 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 blah. And there's some major trust issues here, but I feel like this person could be telling you a bunch of lies. Mm. I feel like you're raising your vibration and you're seeing this person from a different perspective here. And I feel like you're, you're on the right path here. You're accepting your story. Yeah, and you're on the right track. Because I feel like this person, you know, being in a connection with them, you learned a lot of lessons in love. And I do see that now that you have done that. Lock doors are opening, removing blockages. Yeah, love is coming. Spirit is going to unblock this, whatever was blocked here. They're going to unblock it. They're going to unlock it for you. And it will be unblocked. Okay, blockages are being removed. And I'm seeing you doing something different to your body, your hair, your work. You're doing something different with your wardrobe. Yeah, you may be changing the color of your hair. But I'm just seeing this person, you make them very nervous. Okay, they're intimidated by your beauty. Male or female, because they know you're a catch. You can have anybody that you want to. So let's jump into the tarot and check out this person's karma. Because I know they got some karma coming in for them. I just know. Because they're hiding secrets. And they could be keeping a secret like, yo, I just only want sex from you. But they're not telling you this. They may be married. Or focus on somebody else. Or they're going to be love bombing you. Telling you that you're the only one they want. But they're lying. I feel like this person has other options. <sighs> Capricorn, who are you dealing with? Okay, so you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. I feel that air energy. Okay, I feel um, fellow Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody you know, this is somebody you're familiar with, this is somebody from your past who's coming back into your life. Yeah. This is somebody from your past here. This person in the past betrayed you. Ten of swords. This person betrayed you. Backstabbed you. Yeah, this is somebody you've ended things with. In the past. I feel like you've ended things with them a while ago. But I'm seeing that this person is resurfacing. Okay. I feel like this person is... is they have a lot of childhood trauma with the Six of Cups and the Ten of Swords. They have a lot of childhood trauma and that's why um, they're struggling. Oh, that's what they're struggling with. But I'm seeing that this person from your past betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back and I feel like they drained your energy. They drained your energy literally having like you feeling like the world, the weight of the world is on your shoulders with the Ten of Wands. Making you feel overwhelmed. Making you do a bunch of shit. Making you feel overworked with responsibilities. And it's it's pretty toxic. Capricorn energy. You felt tied, chained, and bound to this person. You were struggling, wondering why it's so hard like to let this person go. Okay, this person wanted you to be tied, chained, and bound to them. They're obsessed with you. They have addictions to sex, alcohol, drugs here. Um, gambling issues. They're really struggling with um, their demons that they're that they're fighting here. Okay, Capricorn. Well, this is you struggling with this toxic person because, like, <sighs> somebody can't move on with the Six of Swords. They can't move on from you. Or you can't move on from them yet. You love them. Or are they in love with you? They can't move on from the sexual connection. They can't move on from you. But there's a choice between two for some of y'all. Because your person is juggling you and another person. Or yeah, y'all love each other. But it's a lot of ups and downs that's going on in here. And I feel like you could be weighing up the pros and the cons about this person or about your feelings for this person or about this choice or this decision that you guys are having to make you like should i shouldn't i i don't know i don't know or this person is saying this 
you know, it's just a lot going on in your life right now, Capricorn. I feel like there's a lot going on in your person's life. The Wheel of Fortune wanted to come out in the reverse. I really feel like your person is getting some bad karma. I really feel like that. Your person is getting some bad karma because they left you hanging, feeling stuck, stagnant, and caused delays and blockages in your life. Yeah, they wanted to just have sex with you. They just want your attention. Like that card said, they just want your attention. This person is an attention whore. But I feel like you held on for so long because you saw potential within this connection, within this person. But I feel like you're you're choosing happiness. You're releasing pain, hurt, resentment, you or you're going to. You're releasing pain, hurt, and resentment because I feel like there's a brand new passionate beginning coming in for you. Or something you're really passionate about is coming in coming in. Or these are some good ideas coming towards you. And you're choosing happiness overall. You just wanted to be happy and get over past hurt, past pain, any pain or resentment you have towards this person or anyone else. I feel like you're letting that shit go. Or you're about to. Yeah, King of Cups. I mean, King of Pentacles. That's you, Capricorn. Yeah. You're focused on money. I feel like you want to be happy and just focus on your bread here. I feel like you have no regrets. You're not worried. You have no remorse for whatever karma this person's about to receive. What karma is this person about to receive, Spirit? What is their karma? What is their karma? The person on Capricorn Mind? The person on Capricorn Mind? What is their karma for the person on Capricorn Mind? Broke, homeless, bad luck, STDs, left out in the cold, abandonment. Yeah. This person is going to be cut off from jobs. They're going to apply to jobs. Nobody's going to hire them. Okay, they may go around people and people are going to cut them off because of uh, their lack of finances or basically because they're a leech or it could be because... um. They don't have nothing to offer to anybody. Okay. Even their ex is like hell no. Because the queen of swords is here. So yeah. I feel like an ex left your person out in the cold too. And abandoned your person. Why? Yeah. I feel like. Uh, your person got cut off by an ex. Or divorced. It may have been married. Yeah, they tried to move forward. They tried to go in a different direction from their ex and disconnected from them. It was a disharmony. It was a breakup. This person may have been abusive. You know, they moved on. They moved on. Okay, I feel like, yeah, and your person... Their ex may have moved or relocated to a different city, state, country, or a town. But I feel like this ex felt like your person didn't love them anymore. Or maybe they've outgrown them or fell out of love with them. Or maybe this is you. You could be moving forward. Okay? You're moving on and moving forward. Overcoming these obstacles right here. Because of this breakup. This person is abusive. They're a bully. There's a disconnect, disharmony. You guys are not happy as a couple. And I feel like this person, you know, they feel like you don't love them anymore because you moved on. Or you're moving forward. Yeah, and you're healing. They feel like you don't love them anymore because you're not waiting for them with the temperance card. Or they, they can't, you're not allowing them to string you along anymore. So you're just being patient and doing things in moderation and being patient with the people you let into your life. Whether this is friends or lovers. Yeah, and you're healing, bringing in balance, tranquility. This person sees you as their soulmate and they're wanting to come back and reconcile with you. Why? With the temperance. Could be connected to a Sag. Oh, shit. They just want to win. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They just want to win at all costs. They want to beat out the competition. But they're still 
it's like the way they're going to come back in with this communication. If you do talk, because I'm seeing you guys not even talking to this person right now. Or there's a lack of communication. I feel like there's going to be a heated discussion or disagreement. Because I feel like they're going to try to beat out all the competition. They're going to want to try to win you back at all costs here. But the way they're doing it is deceptive. It's manipulative. And they're, 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 um, they're lying to you. This person is extremely deceptive with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. This is deceit. They're deceiving you. They're gaslighting you. They're trying to manipulate you. They're trying to manipulate you. Yeah, they're lying to you, telling you that they've changed. Don't believe in that bullshit. That's bullshit lies. The only thing this person changes is their draws. Okay. What is this person's karma? They're about to lose money, lose their job, you know, or maybe not get paid so well from their job or not make much money. This person offers the bare minimum. This person can't give you anything. They only give you little by little. But I'm seeing that this person is losing money and I feel like you're not reaching out to them. You're not reaching out to them at all. <clears throat> you don't need this person's help. You don't need them for anything. Okay. But I just feel like they're going through a lot of financial shit. Yeah. I feel like this person <clears throat> may be in hermit mode or they may find themselves in hermit mode. Staying in the house a lot because, you know, with the page of pentacles in reverse, like upright, that's somebody applying for jobs, like filling out applications for jobs. But this is like their application getting turned down. And I feel like it's, this person is in a dark place right here. Because Page of Pentacles means so many things. But I feel like this person is in a dark place and they're in hermit mode. And this person is needing to go within to do some soul searching, some introspection. Because I feel like this person is not like taking baths or shaving or nothing at all. They just they just they just isolating themselves. This is somebody you withdrew your energy from with the hermit. Could be a, a Virgo. This is somebody that you ghosted or this person ghosted you. Maybe because you wouldn't help them. They just ghosted you because you wouldn't help them. Because you wouldn't give them any money or something like that. Yeah. Four of Pentacles, you're keeping your coins close to your chest. You're like, no, I'm not giving you any money. You're very wise. And I feel like you're just, you're saving your money. Or you could be put into a savings account, bank account, or checking account, or whatever. That's your prerogative. But I feel like, yeah, you're, you're holding back and holding off. And keeping your uh, coins close to your chest. And you're not opening up. Um, to this person, but I feel like this person doesn't like, um, feelings. They don't like feelings. Okay. They, they hide their feelings and they, um, they, they keep it to themselves. Okay. They could be spying on you, but there's a lot of shit that they keep to themselves. And this person is at a distance from you. But if you guys are still holding on to this person energetically or however, I do feel like you are being called with the two of wands to make a choice or a decision here. Now, this person may live in a different city from you. But I just feel like, yeah, the Queen of Cups. You're needing to make a decision based on your feelings or your, your emotions right here. Okay, some of y'all don't give a damn about this person. Some of y'all don't even care about them no more. But some of y'all do care about them. You still have love for them and compassion and empathy for them. This person may try to come towards you to use you for empathy and sympathy. They want your attention with the Six of Wands. Be very careful about that. Yeah, they're going to tell you about their problems or how they just feel paranoid or it's something that they're going to be that they may have told you or this person may be coming back in like, oh, can I get your advice? Can I talk to you? I'm not. But it's like they're trying to get sympathy or empathy from you so you can feel bad about them. So you could drop your guard and reconcile with them with the three of pen with the three of cups. This person's still not going to give to you, okay? It's possible they would give you an equal give and take. But it's possible that this person would breadcrumb you because they're still going to be in and out of your life, hot and cold, giving you mixed signals. And you're going to have to walk away or emotionally pull yourself away or withdraw from this person again. And it's like, 
the fuck? But I feel like, yeah. If this person comes back into your life, you want an equal give and take. You want balance between you and this person. But I'm seeing they may work behind the scenes. They may be working with other people behind the scenes to get you like a gift or buy you something. Because I feel like they're trying to um, use you for sympathy or empathy to, so you could drop your guard and reconcile with them. And it's a possibility they're going to brag from you. It's a possibility that there may be an equal give and take. There may be some balance here between you and them. But I just feel like you may give more to this person than what they're putting in. And you may feel like this person is breadcrumbing you. Okay, so think about that for a second. Because this person with the um, five of pentacles, they don't have anything to offer to you. They need somewhere to live. They homeless. They don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. And their ex don't want them. Because the five of pentacles and the queen of swords. The queen of swords is like nah. Get the fuck out of here. The ex probably put them out and they came to your house. And then y'all started dating. Take it how it resonates. I don't know. Because like I'm seeing the six of cups. So this could be a backstory, Or this person then got cut off from their ex. Or their baby mama, wife, spouse. And they came to your house. For some of y'all, that's a very small, like, for a very small portion of y'all, okay? Because they got kids by this person and the empress. That's somebody, like, baby mom. So that person kicked your person out and then came to your house, knocked on your door. And then you was like the cleanup woman. I'm not even going to lie to you. Okay, you was like the cleanup woman. Y'all young cats ain't going to know what the cleanup woman is. Uh, if you don't, check it up. Check it out on, on YouTube by Betty Wright, the cleanup woman. And you'll understand. All right, you guys. That's it. That's all I have for you guys for today. Make sure that you guys, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Like, share, comment, share this video with your friends, family members, the roads, the ratchets, the, 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 the newborn babies, the nurses, the doctors. Share it with them. Share it with your, your neighbors, the neighbors, rats, raccoons, roaches. Share it with them. Okay. Share with everybody. I love you guys so much. Until next time. Bye Capricorn. I'll see y'all in the next reading.